Hey guys, welcome back to the Cool Classic Cage Show. And today we have to talk about Resident Evil 4 Remake. Um, wasn't expecting to make a video like this, but unfortunately these non-traversies just keep popping up with every, it seems like every major entertainment release at this point that has any form of criticism uh, thrown at it whatsoever. And Resident Evil 4 is the latest of this, but without further ado, let's just quickly jump into this whole situation here, guys. So, Push Square <laughs> writes an article saying, Hateful comments prompt Resident Evil 4 remakes Ada Wong to nuke Instagram account. Man, how many of these have we seen over the course of a few years? And honestly, personally, I'm sick of them. I just think that they're a waste of time. Um, at the end of the day, it's their choice. And they probably did a good thing for themselves, in all honesty, as someone that engages in social media myself. But let us not uh, further ado. And the article says, ah, the internet is at it again. Lily Gao, the new voice of Ada Wong in Resident Evil 4's remake, has effectively nuked her Instagram account following a string of hateful comments from so-called fans. Gao, who, uh, who also starred in the Return to Raccoon City movie, ha was recruited to replace Re Resident Evil 4's Jolene Anderson, but not everyone has appreciated her performance in the game. Okay, so... The thing about it is, so nobody likes the voice acting for Ada Wong in the game. That is the probably the biggest negative criticism I've seen across the internet, across many fans. If it be you've played the original and then you played the remake, those individuals seem to think that, yeah, her, she's the weakest part of the game itself. And then there's people that have never played the original game and then played the remake who also say, yeah, she is the weakest part of this game. And personally, while I have not played Resident Evil 4 Remake, I have watched cutscenes in which Ada Wong speaks, and it's bad. It is very, very bad. The voice does not really sync up with, um, you know, the character model. It just feels weird, and it's one of those things where people seem to think it is on account of the voice actress feeling like she doesn't even want to be there. And then there's also a set of people that think that yeah this script honestly doesn't really give this character anything and it just doesn't seem good or like it gives a voice actress desire to want to even play this role so whatever camp you're in i mean i, I think it's worth voicing both sides of the situation but let's continue forward the reality is yeah she's probably the worst part of the game ada wong is uh, ada wong's character and voice acting the article uh, goes on to say, while constructive criticism is generally fine, some of the comments have sadly gone way over the top. And, and mind you, here, here's a, the only comment that they chose to include. And the comment states, you ruined the remake. I feel like I just wasted my money by buying the deluxe edition to get this VA to dub Ada. Oh my God, this is so harmful. So, so harmful. This, this criticism is too much. It's going to break break us all. <sighs> Some of the comments have sadly gone way over the top. Apparently that's over the top. Outright blaming Gal for quote-unquote ruining the game before seeping into some savor unsavory territory, the actress initially deactivated comments on Instagram, preventing people from leaving their thoughts, but has since nuked her entire account with only a single post remaining as of the time of writing. Now, guys, here's my thoughts when it comes to new choosing to nuke your account. It's a choice. You don't have to do it. You choose to do it. And in a lot of cases, it's probably best for your own mental health. I mean, we all engage in social media, if it be, you know, to deal in the fuckery, um, to view the fuckery, or to, you know, promote what you got going on. Either way, we choose to engage. We don't have to engage. But we choose to, for whatever reason that we have. Now, when it comes to this situation, the biggest reason why I don't care is because the whole concept of I'll just nuke my account when I'm receiving criticism. Every aspect of that just simply benefits the person that's being criticized. There is no negative aspect to, um, you know, to nuking your account when you're receiving criticism. Just think about it, guys. You have all these simp ass websites writing these articles uh, to white knight for you, which creates more white knights to go argue with the people that 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 criticize your work, which honestly, the work is poor in quality. 
So, you know, from that aspect, you're going to get this defense force. Your name is going to get out there from being in all these articles. Um, the fact that you managed to walk away is going to naturally help the criticism die down because you're not present to receive it. And also, while the white knights that are white knighting for you are going to go fight your battles for you, there's really no negative aspect to just saying, F it, I'm nuking my account. Everything benefits the person in criticism. So, I mean, it's a choice that really seems to be a chess move for a lot of people in entertainment. And I don't blame them for taking it. But don't pretend that, that you know, oh my god, she's such a victim, especially from receiving comments, the, 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 the one comment that we posted that's so lukewarm. <laughs> oh my god, but let's finish the article. Uh, they go on to say, it should go without saying. Whatever your thoughts on Ada Wong's new voice actress, which seems to be outright entirely just, she's just not very good. It's just not good. Not good. Not good at all. One of the worst aspects of the game. You should keep them polite and respectful. It's one thing to express your opinion on a fictional character, but it's another entirely to effectively harass an actress for not meeting your personal expectations. Gal seemed genuinely excited to assume the role of this iconic character. But we dare say the moment's been tainted now. Look, you know, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to give me more, like, examples of, you know, like, harassment. This one, this one freaking screen cap, this one screen cap is a joke. Who's really going to be like, oh my god, she was so harassed here, guys. This is so bad. It's so terrible. Miss me with that shit, guys. I just think it's so, it, it's so overplayed. This whole bitching and whining whenever, uh, you know, someone in question, someone that's out, put themselves out there, gets criticism. If you put yourself out there, prepare to be criticized. Um, I put myself out there with YouTube. I get so much criticism. Um, some of it's positive criticism. Some of it's certainly negative. A lot of people say a lot of nasty, heinous things about me. And what do I choose to do? I either ignore it. Um, you know, I fight back with them, argue with them, or just shade them back, or I make content out of them. That's really my my choice. I'm not going to sit here and act like what you're going to say, uh, you know, oh my god, you guys broke me. I'm going to nuke my YouTube channel, my year and a half worth of work down the toilet just because of this negative criticism in the comment section, or, or turn off my comments, which prevents people, like, people that actually, you know, that support me, that appreciate me, uh, from being able to to leave their thoughts in the comments below. Like, no, like, I'm not going to go about doing any of that stuff because it's like, it's whatever to be, man. If you're going to put yourself out there, prepare to receive criticism. It's going to happen. So, you know, if uh, Miss Gao chose to walk away, step away from social media because it was bothering her, hey, good on her. I think that that's a great thing because really, social media is trash. It's trash. We engage in it, you know, if it be to promote ourselves or to to engage in, in the fuckery or to witness the fuckery. We choose to engage. It's not a requirement. Now, in her line of work, who knows if it's a requirement, but I take it if she chose to nuke her entire Instagram account, I'm, I'm going to guess that it's not really much of a requirement. But there's no negative aspect of her nuking her account. All of it benefits her. So I'm just tired of, of people going to bat for for people that are being criticized for putting themselves out there it just comes with the territory stop trying to to make uh, to make things easier for everyone prepare everyone for a rough life that way they'll be able to to deal with all the blows that are going to come their way there's no scenario in which you will receive like overwhelming praise or everything's going to go perfectly that's just not how life works the sooner people come to reality and realize that the sooner we can strengthen our society to not be little crybaby whiny bitches all the time but yeah guys that's my general thoughts on this situation look no hate to miss gal i just think that uh she missed the mark with ada wong that's really what it was down to and you know i think that push square should do some better due diligence and post multiple examples instead of one really basic bitch comment that really isn't even terrible in the grand scheme of things it wasn't like uh they called miss gal anything disrespectful they just said yeah you're the worst part of the game so much so that 
I feel like I wasted my money on it. I mean, it comes with, it just is what it is. It comes with the territory. Guys, let me know what you think about this article in the comment section down below. If you can, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, or Kick if you would like to continue the conversation, become a channel member if you'd like to be a part of my growing Discord community. And guys, uh, you know, without being said, I'm out. Peace.